what? I need y'all to understand this. No, seriously, we're in hell right now. <laughs> this is hell, bitch. This is hell. Literally, like, people are burning in hell right now. In astral plane. You're burning in hell. But you keep coming back here on Earth because Earth is a chance and opportunity to do the right thing so you can vibrate out of that space that you're in right now. You see, Baba G, he's literally God. Okay, he's Jesus in the flesh. I know that's hard to believe. Oh my God, he seems just like a regular human. Oh my God, it's so hard to believe. They taught us that God was some spirit that we could not see. No. Baba G is literally God, okay? And what we're doing is the kingdom of heaven. This is the kingdom of heaven, literally. And, you know, people hear the message because they're chosen. Some people are chosen. Even people who may have left, you know, they're made, they, they chosen too. They're going to come back too. But this journey, let me tell you, it's not an easy one. It's not easy. You know, dealing with yourself every single day. Can't run from yourself. You know, you got to deal with yourself. You got it. You can't give up on yourself either because you do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. And then you just got to keep applying the knowledge and you got to keep going and you got to be better. And you have to keep your spirit up because this journey is not easy. Okay. We're earth is a proving grounds to prove that you are worthy to join the flame at all. You are here on earth to prove That your your light is as hard as a as light as a feather, so that you can go to the heavenly realms. Okay, this is just saying it's chance and opportunity. Pyramid. You thought you was here to be happy? <laughs> oh my God, who told you? Who told you that? Who told you that? Okay, Chief is in jail right now for no reason. So many black men is in jail right now for no reason. You know, people are in hell right now and they don't even know because, you know, this world just distracts you from, you know, the reminder that you're in hell. But that's a trap in itself. Going to church is a trap. Oh my God, so many traps. That's a whole nother download. You're not here to be happy. I see people leave here all the time because it's not easy and they try to go and fulfill their desires right you know if they're in a polygamous relation i'm gonna go find my own man i'm getting out of the kingdom going to find my own man end up with another polygamous man that's lying to you you know whatever that is and then you know you see the in the bible jesus even said the kingdom comes before your own egotistical needs the kingdom comes before everything morals over desires motherfucker yo the de the devil can use your instincts against you we instinctually want to fulfill our desires and once we are deprived of those desires um people start glitching and shit and leaving shit you know what i mean but all of that has to be denied. That's, that is supposed to be... You're not here to be happy. That is supposed to be denied for the kingdom of heaven. But it ain't nothing else to do. So, motherfucker, I don't care how hard it get, bitch. I cannot go and get up and work for the white man. do do, -do. Thankful. I cannot do that. I cannot be a part of that fucking system because I know that all is mental. And what that system feeds me is misinformation. It's shit that is retardation. White people, less melanated people have... I'm thankful for a little melanin I got. Less melanated people have a retardation. Like the shit they teach us in school, like it's retarded as fuck like white people take so much from the earth oils the water the motherfucking trees and animals and all kind of crazy shit just take 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 from the earth without any thought that what the fuck am i doing i'm not giving anything back i'm just fucking up the ecosystem they study 
all this science, but people are walking around with shoes on, being disconnected from the earth. Do you know that your body is a living, breathing entity? Do you know that the earth is a living, breathing entity? That we have positive charge inside of our bodies and the earth has negative charge. And when we put our feet on the earth, we neutralize ourselves. And there's a lot of health benefits of grounding. We live in a world where we dye our hair which has melanin in it which allows us to connect to the highest consciousness there is you don't think this place is hell we are living backwards everything that makes sense is not happening like evil and dumb ass backward shit is normalized in this world you don't think this is hell my nigga Come on now, wake the fuck up. I cannot be a part, no matter how hard this journey gets, I can't go back to stupidity, okay? I, I think too much. I'm a mental person. I'm a psychologist. I get to, I've been to very low spots on my journey. Oh my God, this shit is not easy. I know we make it look easy. I know, but it's not. But I could not give up on myself and go back to the motherfucking ignorance. Come on now. No. And I'm accepting that, you know, everything I have, the universe wants me to have. And I'm grateful. Because even though this journey is not easy and I'm not here to be happy and this place is barely fucked up i'm creating my heaven i'm creating my reality okay because we are creating our next reality our next lifetimes by the actions we take now by the thoughts that we keep now by the actions and behaviors that we do right now inner we're taking our inner verse with us it's about the inner verse and how we think and you know what i mean that's what we're gonna take with us our soul our being and our heart this is a proven grounds we're all in hell right now we have to vibrate out see poppy he's the master cell he's god because he's not in hell he came back here to help us lost soul ass motherfuckers on some g shit if I didn't find Baba G, I would still be waking up depressed as fuck, going to work, going to school, being a fucking robot in that fucking system, and not having any knowledge of self. He's our Lord and Savior because he woke us up from ignorance. Okay? Isn't that what Jesus did? Isn't that why those disciples left all of their entire existence to follow Jesus? Y'all talk about us leaving our life leaving our family leaving all of our shit but what about you worship jesus you and jesus had disciples who left all they shit to walk with this nigga jesus so why is it a problem when you see us when we see our black man as god as a modern day jesus to follow and you know let go of everything that no longer serves us and follow him why is that a problem i'm trying to understand so I sit and I remind myself that I'm in hell and this shit is real and it's not a really a fucking joke and um, I can't take life for granted because even though I'm young and I may think in my head that I have a whole life ahead of me, bitch, I could die tonight on some G shit. I could die right now, my nigga. And my ass, yeah, I no, I wouldn't not be in a good space if I transitioned tonight. Because there's a lot of work that I have to do, respectfully. And um, I'm accepting that. I, I feel my strength. Um, you know? I have to always be conscious of this. Do the right thing, like, at all times. Do the right thing. Everything is being calculated, bruh. Everything is being calculated. Do the fucking right thing. I'm thankful that I just am able to be conscious and aware of this. That's what I'm thankful for. Shit. Do the right thing. You only get one day. Tomorrow when I wake up, that's going to that's gonna be my affirmation every day. You only get this one day, bro. 
do the right fucking thing. Program, reprogram your mind to do the right thing and let it become a habit so you can vibrate the fuck out of here. We got to get the fuck out of here. Bitch, get out. Movie was not a coincidence. That shit was symbolic as fuck. All the messages are in the movies. I love myself. Nothing comes before the kingdom of God. Not